grades is done. All of you will be getting report cards next Wednesday that you get to take home. And I have to tell you, I've been looking through the report cards and checking out the progress of all of our students. And I would like to begin this assembly today by just congratulating all of our third graders for doing a great job, for getting the year off to an outstanding start, and for having great report cards. It really reflects that all of you have been working very hard and doing a good job. So give yourselves a big round of applause for a great start to the school year. And this assembly, of course, is a time where we get to recognize a few students from each classroom for doing a great job during the first trimester of school. And we appreciate the parents coming here and helping us recognize these students. They've taken time out of their busy schedule. And we couldn't do what we do here and have the success that we have here at Concordia without the support of our parents. So let's give our parents a big round of applause. Thank you, parents, for being here. And speaking of parents, we are very fortunate to have an outstanding PTA here at Concordia. They do so much for our school. And they're having a special activity that's going on right now. They're going to be sponsoring a used book sale at lunchtime, so students can purchase some books and take home some good reading material. That's going to happen at lunchtime. Also, in Portable Number 1, the portable that's located right out in the front part of the school there, they are selling some spirit wear, some rash guards, and some discount Krikorian movie tickets. So any parents that want to stop by and pick up some spirit wear or some movie tickets, we would appreciate that very much. We appreciate your support. And I see that our PTA president, Mrs. Wade, is here in the audience. I think we should recognize Mrs. Wade with a big round of applause. Would you like to make a speech, Mrs. Wade? I love the lengthy one. <laughs> but we do appreciate our PTA. They help us so much and in so many ways. Okay, let's get on with the presentation of awards. And today... We are going to be recognizing, as I said, a few students from every class for outstanding achievement. You're going to hear kids recognized for outstanding achievement in reading and mathematics and science. Kids will be recognized for improved attitude and effort. And what we're going to do is read off the names of the kids that are being honored. And if your name is called, we want you to stand up and walk up to the front of the room here as carefully as you can. Make sure you don't step on any fingers or toes. And then we want you to go over to that corner of the stage and Hannah Reed, our student council president, and Lauren Woodstra, our student council vice president, will present you with your certificate. And I think we should give Hannah and Lauren a big round of applause. For their leaders of the and after they give you your certificate and a high five, you can come on up the stage here and step on the risers. Those are the steps that are on the stage and we'll recognize the students from each class. Now, before we begin presenting the classroom awards, I do want to start by recognizing some students for having perfect attendance during the first trimester. Now, we have so many kids that had perfect attendance, there are actually too many to call up here on stage. So what I'd like to do is to read off the names of these students, and if I call your name, just stand where you're sitting, and we'll recognize these kids with a big round of applause. And this is really a major accomplishment. We talk about the three R's all the time, being respectful, responsible, and ready. And the third R is ready, and having good attendance means that you're being ready for school every day. These kids not only were not absent at all during the first trimester, but they were here on time. They weren't tardy, not even a single time this whole first trimester. So that's really a, a major accomplishment. Okay, if I call your name, please just stand right where you're sitting. Kaylee Cassidy from Mrs. Castro's class. Mikey Kepsel from Mrs. Castro's class. Kate McKernan from Mrs. Castro's class. Aaron Peterson from Mrs. Castro's class. And Mrs. Castro, if you wouldn't mind, can we turn the lights on so we can see these kids? And we'll turn them off after we recognize these students. There we go. There they are. And they're all here. They're not absent. Next, we have Angelina Abbott from Mrs. Ramirez and Mrs. Gainer's class. Mark Bennett from Mrs. Castro's class. Griffin Bucken from Mrs. Kimes' class. Dylan Clemens from Mrs. Coffin's class. Emily Colson from Mrs. Kimes' class. Ian DeVore Fletcher from Mrs. Ramirez and Mrs. Gainer's class. Connor Deutsch from Mrs. Ramirez and Mrs. Gainer's class. Brandon Duplanty from Mrs. Ramirez and Mrs. Gainer's class. Dodge England from Mrs. Kimes' class. Michaela Godleski from Mrs. Kimes' class. Sophia Helm from Mrs. Kimes' class. Carson Hobson from Mrs. Kimes' class. Hannah Hogan from Mrs. Kimes' class. 
It's Amy Holt from Mrs. Coffin's class, Blake Jelmeyer from Mrs. Kimes' class, Michaela Kagan from Mrs. Kimes' class, Justin McCoy from Mrs. Castro's class, which we have another kids with perfect attendance, Vidi Meyerhofer with Mrs. Ramirez from Mrs. Gaines' class, Cody Moore from Mrs. Kimes' class, Noah Persicki from Mrs. Ramirez and Mrs. Gaines' class, David Romero from Mrs. Castro's class, Marley Seaburn from Mrs. Coffin's class, Amanda Spink from Mrs. Castro's class, Lucas Terry from Mrs. Kimes' class, Garrett Wade from Mrs. Kimes' class, Jeslyn Ward from Mrs. Kimes' class, and Rhiannon Yonda from Mrs. Coffin's class. Wow, that's a lot of food readers who put their attendance. Give yourself a big round of applause. Good job. That is a major accomplishment. Now, all of you will be receiving a special certificate at uh, the end of the day from your teachers, and you get to be invited to the Perfect Attendance Pancake Breakfast Extravaganza, which is going to be held in June. We're going to have one big pancake breakfast at the end of the year. And if you didn't make perfect attendance this trimester, try really hard to do it in the second or third trimester, because if you get perfect attendance any trimester, you get to come to the pancake breakfast. So. We're starting over, and you can make it this second trimester, hopefully. Okay, now let's move on and begin recognizing the students from each class for their achievement awards. Thank you, Mrs. Castro. And we're going to start with Mrs. Castro's class. And I'm sure as all of you know, our teachers really look forward to the holidays and really get into the holiday spirit, as evidenced by Mrs. Castro in her little outfit there. And here is Mrs. Castro's class. There they are. What a serious bunch of students. Okay, now the first student from Mrs. Castro's class is being honored for excellent achievement in reading and writing, and this first award goes to Emily Frelot. Our next award is for having an outstanding work ethic and great citizenship, and this certificate goes to Gavin Kirtner. Good job, Gavin. Our next award is for Outstanding Creative Writing Skills. And it goes to Kaylee Cassidy. Good job, Kaylee. Our next award is for Excellence in Creative Writing Skills and for Outstanding Quality of Work. And it goes to Aaron Peterson. Good job, Aaron. The next student is being honored for achievement in reading and comprehension, and this certificate goes to Amanda Spink. Good job, Amanda. Our next award is for outstanding citizenship and homework, and it goes to Colton Cadell. Our next award is for excellent achievement in reading and math. And it goes to Tiara LaCicero. Good job, Tiara. The next certificate is for outstanding spelling and outstanding quality of work. And it goes to Justin McCoy. Congratulations, Justin. Our next award is for outstanding citizenship and homework. And it goes to Mark Bennett. Good job, Mark. And our last student from Mrs. Castro's class is being honored for excellent math skills and outstanding citizenship. And this award goes to Zane Sherman. All right, and this outstanding group of students are the students from Mrs. Castro's class. Let's give them a big round of applause. Congratulations. And now you guys can go back to your seats. Good job. And as they make their way to the